Let's learn how to use LucidChart. LucidChart is an online program that allows you to create flowcharts and concept maps. It also lets you share these concept maps with others to help them study better. If you haven't done so already, you may need to click sign up for free at the upper right hand corner, or if you already have an account, you can click login. If you do need to sign up, you can click this button and then choose continue with the free version of LucidChart. In this step, instead of writing your email and password, I would choose continue with Google and use your Centennial ISD12 Google account in order to log in. That way you'll always remember how to. This is the opening page for LucidChart and where you create a new LucidChart document by clicking the new button in the upper left hand corner. I already have one started so I'm going to go ahead and click on the one that I have. This is an example of a concept map. A concept map typically takes a bunch of concepts and shows how they're related with linking words, as you see here. For example, I'm studying for the Unit 1 exam in chemistry. I made sure to include that as the title up here in the upper left hand corner. Now, this flowchart or this concept map isn't quite finished, so I need to add more topics and more definitions, terms, and other things to this chart to show that I'm understanding the material. For the Unit 1 exam, we covered the five reaction types, synthesis and decomposition reactions, but we also covered the ideal gas law, so I'm going to include that. Now, there's a couple ways to link more terms to my chart, but one of the ways to do that is to drag out some of these shapes. I'm going to go ahead and change this to ideal gas. And I'm also going to change the color to show that this topic is a little bit different than the other topics shown here. To link these two topics, the Unit 1 exam and the ideal gas being a subtopic, I'm going to go ahead and drag from this little dot that appeared over to my topic. That shows that these two things are linked. Now, most importantly, I need to add some linking word to show how they relate. For example, I'm going to go ahead and type in covering because the Unit 1 exam covers the ideal gas. Another way to add a topic to my chart is just by clicking on the dot next to a topic that I want to relate to and dragging outwards. That's going to allow me to select one of these other types of shapes. For this one, I'm going to put PV equals NRT, which is the formula for the ideal gas. And I need to specify that I know that these are related by adding some text. If you double click the line, it should allow you to add some text. Adding these linking phrases allows us to show how we know these terms are related and essential to making a good concept map. Now, where do we get ideas for concept map? How do we know what to put in each of these sections? Well, that's where the unit portfolio learning targets come in. At the beginning of the unit, you were given this portfolio and add, asked to add on to it as you go throughout the unit. These learning objectives let you know what you need to be prepared for for the unit test and should include things in your, in your Lucid chart. There are lots of learning targets, so there's lots of things you can include in your chart. For example, this one talks about how you can classify a given reaction based on one of the five types. And so chemical reaction and five types might be in your list. In fact, terms and definitions is another area we can pull terms from to put on our chart. There's chemical reactions, there's the five types, there's even driving forces down here. Not only that, models, diagrams, and examples will be great to include as well. Going back to our chart, we need to make sure that we draw connections between all different parts of each of the learning objectives. So the five types of reactions are one learning objectives and synthesis and decomposition reactions, reactions are another learning target, but they're directly related to each other. So I'm even gonna draw a line from types of reactions to synthesis and decomp and specify that this, this includes those two types. I might even draw other connections, like how synthesis and decomposition reactions are driven by driving forces. I can even add images to my chart. Over on the left-hand side, besides shapes, near the top I can add text as well as images. I'm going to go ahead and add an image of the ideal gas law chart. These images can be connected to our chart by clicking and dragging between them, and those arrows can be drawn. I can even move and rearrange some of my objects to make sure that the flow of each of these items is understandable. Again, this chart should be filled up with a lot of concepts and show that you know how each of these concepts relates by the linking words and the linking phrases. You might also, again, recolor a lot of these to show how certain concepts are related, even though they might be a little bit different than other concepts. 
Finally, the last thing we're going to do after we fill up this chart, and this chart is by no means complete, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to share my chart when I'm done. To share the chart, I'm going to come in the upper right hand corner and click the share button. Now, I don't want to invite collaborators. I don't want people messing with my chart and changing parts about it. So I'm going to go to the advanced settings. In the advanced settings, what I want to do is publish my chart. That allows people to come and see my chart, but won't have editing access. And they also won't need a Lucidchart account in order to look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the full document by clicking this generate link here. That's going to give me a publish link. Now I can click on this link to take a look. Let's do so now. This is what people are going to see when they come into my chart, and it's a view only document. So I'm going to go back to my chart and I'm going to right click this URL and copy the link address. Then I'm going to go to Schoology, to the Practice Unit 1 exam review or whatever exam review you're putting this in. And I'm going to let people know that they can use my chart to study from. I'm going to include a link to that chart by clicking this link button and pasting the link up here at the top. After I attach it, I can post my link so others can view it. And not only that, I can go and see what others have posted and use their practice to help me better prepare for the exam as well. Good luck using Lucidchart to study. It's a great way to make connections between concepts and to show that you really understand the materials.